Hi, this is Billy from the Burning Kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you one real family secret recipe. Okay, I first tasted this dish when I was invited to a family meal. We actually have this potluck, everybody bring one dish, you know. But this is one of the dish, wow, it leaves such an impression on me uh, that was determined to find out who actually brought this uh, chicken you know, to this uh, party. So I found out that it's from my friend's mom. So I secretly went to her and asked her, I said, Auntie, your chicken is super, super good, you know. Can you teach me how to prepare this? And she said, yes, come to my house. I will teach you. So immediately I went to her house, you know. So while she was smoking the chicken, we were talking, you know, in the living room. Wow, the whole house smell of this uh, smoky chicken, you know, is so nice that I told her I can't wait for the chicken to be cooked. So today I'm going to share with you this. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to do, and I hope you like it. Okay, for the sugar cane, I will buy this sugar cane, uh, this type. This is the sweet type of sugar cane, okay? This is called gam jia. There's another type which is greenish color, it's very thin and long. That one usually is for liang cha, you know, for cooking herbal soup. The other long one is called Tek Jia. So for the Hokkien speaking, you should know. But for the Cantonese, this is Gam Jia. Uh, this is very sweet. This is actually used to make the sugar cane water that you buy from the Hawker Center. This is the one. Okay, first of all, I'm going to remove all the innards from the chicken cavity and also to exfoliate the skin with coarse salt. To remove whatever debris or whatever thin uh, film of skin you know that is on the chicken skin then you wash it and then you drain and pat dry and then next i'm going to uh, rub the chicken with pink salt both on the skin as well as the cavity and then also uh, put some pepper on the chicken skin rub it all over and then leave it in the fridge to marinate for about four hours better still overnight so this is how I butterfly the chicken then next I'm going to wash the sugar cane and then I just cut it into half You have to make sure that the sugar cane fit into the wok because I'm going to use the sugar cane to act as a rack. Okay, so I can put the chicken on top of it. So first of all, in the wok, we place three pieces of kitchen towel. And next, I will put in the brown sugar and spread it on top of this kitchen towel. Then I will put the sugar cane in a crisscross manner. Okay. Then I can put the chicken on top of it. Then I cover with the wok cover and then I turn the heat to medium high and just smoke it for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. And you don't have to worry because the smoke will come out you think that the house is on fire, okay? So uh, after 25 minutes, you open the wok cover, you see the chicken, the colour is so fantastic. Okay, so do you recognise this chicken? This is not a different chicken. It is the same chicken that I put into the wok earlier on, which is quite in colour, right? So look at the transformation. It turned completely brown but not green. Okay, so this one I didn't put any light sauce or any dark sauce. See, the color actually come from the smoke. This one is called the smoked sugar cane chicken. Okay, nice. Can you smell? Hmm. Wow. Wow. You all can smell lah. You can smell lah. So far away can for me can smell very good. You know. So you are waiting to eat what the wing is it? Later, later, ah, later. I cut for you. Okay. Yeah. So would you like some? No need lah, I think it's so easy, you can cook yourself, okay? So I wish that you can cook this one soon and then post a picture onto my Facebook page. Thank you, i see you the next time. So you know, now I've got two crazy hungry 
Asians. You see? The play is already here. They just want the win. Okay, I'm gonna cut the win for them, huh? Wow. wow. Oh, the hungry Asians. <laughs> okay.